Hey guys, what is going on? So on today's video, we are gonna do a fence installation. This video is gonna be kind of done in phases. We're gonna kind of do the work off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I've done. I pretty much done with phase one, which is the four corners of the fence. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This is our first fence post that we have installed. Let's go back over this way. So you can see there's number one. There's number two, there's number three, and then number four is right up on the other side. That is the number four. So it comes down, there's the string line, comes across over here, and then goes up to that post right there. What I can recommend to everybody is to do the four corners on day one and sink in your post level two feet under the ground. So set them for 24 inches, add your concrete, add some water, and then from there, once those are dry for a few hours, then you can run your string line and you could see the ground is really throwing it off, but you could see right here that they are level. It's kind of hard to tell, but these are leveled out. They don't have to be 100% perfect, but they're as close as we can get it. I think it is actually pretty good. All right, so that is the first phase of the fence. We're gonna let those sit for 24 hours. And then when we come back, in the next day or so, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set all of the other posts that are gonna run here. We're gonna set those at seven foot on center. All right, so we're basically gonna do every seven feet, we're gonna do a post. You can see I got them already marked out, okay? Seven feet, we're gonna do a post. We'll dig the, all the holes first, 24 inches deep. 20 to 24 inches should be good. And then we're using one 60 pound bag of concrete per post. Then what I did was I have a string line connects those posts. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, after we get all the holes dug, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're gonna connect a second string line. And that is what we're gonna use to keep the posts all level upon each other. We're gonna basically make sure that they're level touching the string this direction and level in this direction. Because of this yard, this yard has such a big slope on it, um, we have to make sure that they're all level this direction and then this direction we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that the bottom and the top string are being touched. When we come back in the next couple days, we're gonna go ahead and start digging the hole for the rest of the posts and we'll show you that phase next. Here we go. So we are now on day two and we had started the process for um, installing or actually digging all the holes. I will tell you, this is the dark side of putting in a fence by yourself. I've never done it, so learning things, but using an auger, it is, with the bit on it, it is super heavy. So there it is, right there. So let me show you some of the stuff that we've been pulling out of these holes and the obstacles that we have to endure while doing these post holes that you will come across probably in your time if you're gonna be doing a fence. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'm gonna show you some of the obstacles that we've uh, come across. Check this out. These are just a few rocks. Check, this thing is the size of my hand. That's just the, the start of it. Check this one out. We came across this guy. This is a stump that was in that hole. I think this one right here. That thing we came across, it was dead in the center of our posts. What we did was, you could see right here, there's a little tiny line, there's a tiny hole that we ran a straight line through from that post to that post. And that way we knew we were dead center of each hole. And we marked our markings. So we got a gate that's gonna go right here. That's a four foot gate. And then we evenly divided in between here and it ended up being every six feet. The gate's gonna go right there. So it's six foot, 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 six foot. Each um, post going up the side of the house has a seven foot span just because of the way that it, it uh, fell. So we wanted to keep everything even. So that is a seven, 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 seven. Actually, that one is a little bit less than seven because of I'll show you because of the electrical box, we brought it in a foot. So it's the electrical box won't be hidden in the fence. So that is the next step that is 
for installing a fence. We did all the four corners. And today, you can see drinking plenty of water. We have done all of those holes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you using this crazy auger and how uh, ridiculous it is. It made, it made the job a lot quicker, but it definitely didn't make it easier because the thing weighs a ton. You hit all those things, you gotta wait, hit, have kickback. You gotta be very careful. I've already kind of messed up my wrist a little bit. I'm, I'm okay, nothing major, but you could, like I actually had that kickback and my wrist twisted. Um, it kicked back and hit me in the thigh. So definitely um, something that I don't want to do on the norm. All right, stay tuned, and uh, we're going to go to the next step. Okay. Let's do, we're going to do this. So, all right, we're back for phase three of the fence install, and I'm gonna show you real quick. We got everything done. Um, we went ahead and got all of the posts put in, so I didn't do that on camera, but all the fence, fence posts we put in, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Dig two feet down with a uh, post hole digger. Uh, that thing was almost the death of me. It was the most ridiculous. It is so hard. Um, if you got really soft ground, it's probably okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you think otherwise, uh, put a comment below if you think a post hole digger is like the easiest thing in the world. Um, because let me tell you something, I must be a real wimp, I guess. Anyways, I'm going to flip the camera around, but I'm going to show you how perfectly straight and how we got our fence posts perfectly straight on every time. So here we go. I'm going to kind of go at an angle and show that it's so hard to see on camera, but these fence posts are perfect. There's a perfect straight line. They don't have any kind of waviness to it. And what we did was this. We have two string lines, okay? Two string lines. There's one right here. This thing is super tight. And I connected this one to the corner pole down there. Then there's another one at a low level, um, about 15 inches up. There's one here going all the way down. And as you can see, this is how we went off of this. It was either a fraction of a centimeter of, of, a, of an inch um, or it just touched it like that you know you look how close that is right there so every single one going down like this one's off by less than a centimeter okay you can see it right there but this one is basically touching it because each pole is a little bit different so you're never gonna get a hundred percent like this one's touching just a little bit you could see I'm shaking it right there. But this guy right here is off by a fraction. And by the time you get to the end, you don't even notice anything. So here it is right here. This is all of the fence posts installed. We did this in one day. It actually took us a full day's work from start to finish. We started this morning and you could see right here Boom, it's, it's literally, it's nearly perfect. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. I had my neighbor help me and he did such an awesome job while I was doing the concrete, he was leveling. You know, every once in a while, there's one that's just a fraction of an inch off here, you know, but it's equal there and it had to be. There's no other way around it. Like, look how close the, these are. There's Heather up there. She's actually cleaning up some of the dirt. We're gonna start the process now of cleaning all this excess dirt. We're gonna get all that done clean all this and get this 100% done. And then next week, next weekend, we are onto the phase of adding the um, cross posts that connect all these posts. When you put in the concrete into there, just pour the bag, we got it wet, got the post wet with the hose, uh, put a little puddle of water, poured some concrete, got it wet again, poured some concrete, got it wet again, poured some, so on and so forth. So by the time you get to the end, it basically took almost one bag. Some of them took a bag because of how much dirt we took out. And every once in a while, it was a 
little bit where it didn't use a whole bag, maybe a little bit less. So what are you thinking so far? You loving it? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So we are on another phase of the fence post. What we're doing right now is I had measured. We're getting ready to cut all the fence posts down to length. Um, we're allowed in our community to have a five foot fence. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go five feet, two inches. I'm just going to make each post two inches taller than the uh, what we're allowed to have for the total top of the fence because we're going to add caps to these. So let me turn around and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So these three I already cut just for testing, but you can see how this one's much taller. So what I did was I measured from the outside of the fences, uh, fence posts. I measured from the outside base, 52 inches, and you can see I have a line that goes all the way around each fence post all the way down. So each one of these has already been marked 52 inches, and that gives me a two inch cap because what I'm going to do is we're going to add at the top of these posts we're going to add a nice decorative cap and you can see right now you can see where I got a little squirrely on this but that's okay because like I said we're going to have a cap on each one of these fence posts that'll be like a decorative so anything up here will be covered you won't see it it doesn't have to be um, exactly perfect I just wanted it to be a little bit higher because each um, I guess uh, fence slat that we do is only going to come to roughly about this height all the way around. So these will be sticking up all the way down on each one. So let's go ahead and get all these things cut off. And when I come back, we should be done with that. So far, I have almost completed one whole side of the uh, fence uh, connecting uh, beams, I guess, that would the joists or whatever that connect the 4x4. So let's turn around and I'm going to show you how I did so. All right, so here we go. This whole side of the fence is pretty much squared away, done nice and even, and it follows the contour of the ground. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that I used, um, which you can see right here of how I did each one. So the first thing I did is you remember, I cut off every pole at five feet, two inches. Um, so then what I did was I used this little template and I kind of did my first set and then created this template right here on how to measure. So what I did was I gave myself two inches um, and then this is the top of the fence right here where each slat is going to go. Basically it's going to end somewhere along like that. But what I did was I took this template and I made a dot. So every pole down the way has a dot eight inches down. And then I used this and I measured perfectly on how I wanted the next poles uh, joist, I guess we'll call them, to be. So we're going to pretend that this is a 2 by 4 then this is a 2 by 4 then this is a 2 by 4 So from the bottom right here, that is 10 inches from that point right there to that ground level. So that's 10 inches. But in between is uh, 16 inches, 16 inches right here, and then 8 inches here. But we're only going to basically use so that but really there's only six inches so then i took this template and i went down each pole let's go way down here so i took my tape measure and i measured down from here to here eight inches okay eight inches and i used this template and i took the top line okay and i lined it up there and you can see and i made a dot and it came down to this middle one. I made a dot and then I went down here and I made a dot. Okay, and what that did now is every single pole, as you can see here, has that mark every single one. And that way the contour of the ground to each pole has a shape, you know, because otherwise if I try to go straight across down there would have maybe been almost a six foot tall fence and up here might have been like a four and a half foot tall fence. So it wouldn't have really made sense. So now what we did was what I'll do is I'll take my two by four. So let's pretend this is a two by four and I'll line it up here. 
underneath that dot. So it'll just line up just underneath that dot. And then over here, I'll, underneath that dot, that's where I will screw in the two by four. But the good thing is once the two by four is secured here to here, as you see this one, and you can see the dot right here, I'll measure from this point to that point. So that is where I will cut the two by four and that's how it will look right like that. I didn't connect, I didn't cut everything at angles because that was just way too difficult. I just went ahead and cut like this because you will never see, you're never gonna see this because it's gonna be covered by slats, fence slats. So that's how I did it. Um, we'll, can, we'll measure, I measured from that dot to that dot to get that length because every pole is a little bit different. There is not an exact dif distance between the poles. They're roughly seven feet. So, cause they, they're not, a, they, they didn't have to be hundred percent perfect. So that's basically how I did that part of the fence. Nothing crazy. All right, everybody. So that is it on this part of the phase. Uh, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to basically just go all the way around. So when we come back, all of the fence posts going all the way around should be done. All right, guys, just to show you, this is how I get all of my wood. If I don't have anybody with the truck, which I've only had at one time, he's my neighbor. Uh, he helped me with the four by fours, getting those in, but I do everything like this. Sorry, I'm no selfie stick. So I got a bunch of uh, two by fours. These are all um, for the rest for the one side. I've got 18 treated two by fours in my little roller skate Kia Soul. So, all right, let's go ahead and get these installed. <laughs> all right, guys, what? We're gonna nail it. We're gonna nail it, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, so we are back and two things have changed. Uh, number one, I shaved. I don't know if you <laughs> they noticed it. They probably did because the last like first half of the video I had a full beard. This time I shaved. So that's number. Well, how'd you do that? Oh, concrete. Oh. Mm. oh. The second thing has changed is our minds about this fence. <laughs> <laughs> this is. It's really not going as bad, but it, it's just time consuming. So what we're at the we're at the stage now of putting up slats. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we've done so far and how we're kind of cutting everything and measuring. And then we're just going to go at it and we have the rest of the fence, the perimeter all the way around over there to do. And I think we're probably a quarter of a way done. I think we finished a quarter of it. We kind of wanted to practice a little bit before we went. So let's go ahead and show you, flip, let's put, flip the camera around. There it is. So we started all the way up there and we got everything down to this point. So roughly, we're about a quarter of a way away. But what we're doing is, this is the coolest thing. So we cut, we're cutting every slat at five feet, okay? So we've got every slat, because we, we're allowed to do a five foot fence. So we've got every slat cut at five foot. And we are using this template, template right here to measure. So show them what we're doing. Just a little, yeah, that's good. Okay, now that'll hold it into place for us. And what we're doing is every top left corner we're measuring right to this point. So everything will be nice and level. As you can see, it goes right up nice and level. So you ready to do it? You wanna, mm -hmm. let's install? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and then we're gonna go ahead and install some uh, slats. Fastmo? Fastmo? I might put us in Fastmo when uh, in editing. Oh, okay. So let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty awesome. So, all right, when we come back, we'll pretty much have the rest of the slats done and uh, yeah, we'll be good. She's ready to get over. One slat at a time. One at a time. Let's one go. At a time. All right, we'll check this out. This is 
my Kia Soul filled to the hilt with the rest of the slats. There's 115 slats in here right now, so isn't that hilarious? Look at that. So, all right, well. All right, guys, so we have finally finished the outside of the fence, and I'm gonna do a quick walk around. The kids are actually outside right now with the dog. We made some makeshift gates because it's been over three and a half years that uh, our dog has not been able to run around inside a fence. We always had to have him on a leash. So this is the first time that we've lived at a house in three and a half years uh, with the moving and renting and trying to do all that stuff, you know, now owning our house. We built our fence after one year of being here. So our dog Mario, as you know him, is loving life. He's running around here right now. So I'm gonna flip the camera and we're gonna do a walk around. I'm gonna show you some really cheap makeshift fence gates that I just made. It's just temporary because tomorrow we are gonna do the gates. So let's see what we look uh, what we look like. All right, so here it is. Look at those gates. Those things are awesome, aren't they? And uh, yeah, this is it. So now we went all the way up to the edge of the house. And look at this. Da -na -na. I'm so, so happy. So, so happy. And the funny thing is we actually made a decision that this little one right here, we're actually gonna leave it. It gives it, that's our little character one. So that dude right there we're keeping. I guess they went inside. Dog was outside. So we're gonna keep it. But there it is, 100% completed all the way around. And you can see what I did over here too was these little edges, these little corners, I filled them in with just little pieces of wood. So the gaps are all filled in. You can't even see anything. And then we come over here. Da -na 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 -na. Is he out? No. Let him out. The kids are up there. So then we went ahead and cut this off. So now this is nice and flush so the gate will shut. Bubba! Come on down here for the first time. Hey! <laughs> there he is. So we got this over here and then you come over this way. Looks awesome. And same thing over here. I just kind of did some little makeshift corners, nothing crazy, just to kind of fill in the gaps. Nobody's really noticing. Follows the flow of the property. So guys, this is a very time consuming job. It's not hard. It is laborious. It's kind of like I've never done one before. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. And finally, the last makeshift gate. Awesome, huh? Where's he at? There he is! There he is! There he is! There he is, love and life. Hi. But anyways, all right guys, that is it. What I'm gonna do is tomorrow, we are gonna do the fence gates, get those finished up. So this video will be done pretty soon. So stay tuned, but let's go ahead and do some uh, fence gates. Bubba. All right, so we have come a long way since day one of this fence build, and I am almost done. Right now, I'm actually just finishing up my first gate. It's actually uh, mounted behind me, and I'm gonna show you how I did this because this fence is definitely not a straight uh, flat yard. So, sorry, my air conditioner's going right now. So what I'm gonna show you is a little trick on how I did this to match up the here, let me go turn around. How I matched up the two by fours to make the gate kind of go in line. So here it is over here, let's see. So this is the gate right now, let me close it. Okay, so there is the gate and you can see the ground right here goes up. So I wanted the flow of all the two by fours to connect and go down. So I came up with this way to create these angles without having to, to really measure. And I'm gonna give you a little tip about these hinges too. This is awesome. This is a quick tip that everybody should know about. But first of all, what I did was I clamped a full two by four from this two by four on the other side. I took a two by four, a long one, and I clamped it to here and here, uh, basically like this. Took this clamp and held it into place there. And then I did the same thing here, but it was on the back side of the fence. Um, and what I did was I drew lines. I drew a line about a quarter of an inch off and I just ran my pencil down the line here and that gave me the angles that I needed this way. Then I took this two by four and held it up to it and did this way, which the cool thing was 
when I used my chop saw, when I found the first angle that I needed, it was the same angle all the way around. You never will have to change anything. And then I used my template to line everything up. And when I put it in, it fit perfect. Real quick about the tip about these, Walmart. These were $2.97 each at Walmart. And then the hinge kit, which I'm gonna use, which will be a latching hinge kit. Because if you notice, there's no way that I can do a hinge with the little clasp like this. It's gonna to have to be one that buckles over and then moves back and forth. And I'm gonna drill a little hole right here so it'll go into the four x four and lock the gate shut and flip over. So it'll flip up, pull out, flip down, pull up, flip over, down, and then go in one of those little pin. So it'll actually sit inside the four x four about that big. But here it is, do, 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 open it up. There's the gate. All right, when we come back, I'm gonna have all these gates completed. You guys are in it. <laughs> all right, guys, hey, we are done. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. We are done with the fence. I am absolutely ecstatic. Babe, you done? You happy? Good. <laughs> That's it. All right, so we got the gates done. Um, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside for a minute, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go ahead and watch out my dog. Get inside. I'm gonna lock up this hinge real quick and that way I can show you, oh my gosh, what I did. Hold on, I'm struggling here, one-handed. All right, so we got the, hinge, the uh, gates all set, squared away, and you can see there it is. I got all the panels on, I got the latches. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you everything and pretty much how I did the latches. Um, hold on one second, let's turn the camera around. So there it is right here. So this is the kind of latch that we used because when the gate opens in, with the pole, you can't put one of those um, flip up locking latches. We had to use this kind. This pulls up and over. And what I did was I drilled a hole that's a little bit larger than that inside the um, inside the four x four. So that is pretty much it. What do you think, Baba? What do you think? You like it? You like it? Oh, he loves it. Mario loves having a fence. He's excited. So that is it. Um, here's the second one. This one, the fence opens out. So we had to put the gate hinges on the outside so it swings open. But I did the same thing. I used the same kind of latch right here. And uh, you could see it sagged a little bit, but that's okay. After eventually what I'll do is um, I'll use maybe some tensioning wire and hook that up. But you know what? I saved so much money by doing this. I saved a ton of money. Oh, there's my dog peeing. Saved so much money. All right, guys, so that is it. That is me installing this fence from start to finish. This is probably a longer video than normal. Um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to edit it out, but yeah, this thing, I'm so happy with it. I'm super excited. Thanks for watching, I know you guys are gonna install a fence. If I could do it, you could do it. I know it's not uh, 100%. I think we're probably about 95% professional. There's probably some one-offs that I did wrong. Um, I don't care. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, stay awesome. All right, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy it. That's a great, that thing right there. That is, that's the money shot right there. All right, everybody. See you on the next video. Bye. I got the money shot. <laughs>